These are the uh, photo series that I've been working on in the last six years called Graces. So here uh, I have photographed an uh, Asian woman uh, in nude. Uh, women, these women have uh, posed spe specifically like these for the images. And then I photographed uh, the classical European you know, sculptures from Greek Roman era separately and on the computer. I brought the head and the body together. And finally, and most importantly, I have altered the skin texture um, to resemble the smoothness of marble. So basically, um, you know, I've, it's like taking a little dot and just uh, removing every single hair and pore and the entire skin surface on the computer. So it does involve enormous uh, digital process, digital rendering process to complete each image. Um, often taking me, you know, at least several months to just to do the digital rendering. So here, um, you know, I have created a hybrid of human and sculpture, you know, sort of ideal and real, um, Asian, European, and the past and present, all combined into uh, a whole new kind of uh, being, you know, that simultaneously sculptural and human and uh, Asian and European. So it's totally contradictory, right? Uh, and that dissonance is the very um, start of the dialogue. What are these, you know? And just visually, um, a lot of people think that these are sculptures that I've made and simply uh, photographed. So and that was the very illusion I wanted to create using, using the medium of photography. This is a pregnant Grace. The model actually gave birth uh, only two weeks after she posed for this image. <laughs> but so often in art history, you know, you never see like a fully pregnant woman, uh, you know, within this uh, genre of sc figurative sculpture, because it's supposed to be like a taboo, you know. So I wanted to acknowledge, uh, you know, women's beauty at every stage of, you know, her life, whether she's, uh, you know, what part of the world she may come from. You know, uh, what, you know, even, even she may be old and, you know, aged or pregnant. These are all natural aspects of life. And there's beauty to every aspect of human life. Here we see a grace, a valley, a very distinct, um, you know, Eastern cultural gesture. But combined with the, you know, the Venus de Milo. And finally, the most important piece from the series is seated three graces on the opposite wall here. Of course, everybody's familiar with the, the theme of three graces, very popular uh, in classical, you know, paintings and sculptures. But here, um, I've introduced a middle-aged woman uh, from the Asian culture, uh, and you know, it kind of depicts an everyday life from Asia. The fact that these women are seated. I think that reveals their cultural um, identity. Yet the heads are very much the, the European classical, um, you know, sculpture heads. So, and they look totally serious and all that, right? So, once again, simultaneously uh, presenting the dissonance of these different elements coming together to create a different story. Stage to actually uh, invite the viewer to interpret this reality. What does it symbolize? What does it represent? What does it suggest? What does it challenge? So it's very much left uh, open to the viewer to complete the story.